We are the heartbeat of Seattle. Hello, and thank you for stopping by. Today I want to speak to you about the Seattle's defunding of the police department and how Mayor Denny Durkin stepped in and vetoed it. Now it is possible that the city council could come back and overturn her veto, but I really don't think they're going to do that. It says here, Seattle Mayor Jenny Durkin, after vetoing the revised 2020 budget that was approved last week by the city council, she called for new collaborations with council members with whom she's often been at odds. She hasn't always seen eye to eye with the city council, especially Kashima Salant. The city council's adjustment to the budget would have cut up to 100 police officers, slashed the salaries of police command staff, and also scrapped the city's navigation team, which performs outreach to people experiencing homelessness and clears encampments. Durkin strongly opposed, opposed these measures. The Seattle Police Department Chief Carmen Best retired in objection to them. She retired in objection to the bad things that the city council wanted to do. Now, Chief uh, Council President M. Lorena Gonzalez said she disagreed with Durkin's veto, but promised to work with the mayor on a path forward. This morning, the mayor and I committed to commented to each other that we will continue to try and partner in this work. I have to believe that we agree on more than we disagree. And I will strive to bridge the gap on our few but critical differences of opinion, she wrote in a news release. While I disagree with Mayor Durkin's decision to veto the council's budget legislation, I hope that the public knows that their elected leaders are committed to working toward together on achieving a long overdue transformation of our law enforcement and criminal justice system that have for far too long perpetuated trauma and harm on our black, brown, and indigenous neighbors. So, how do you do something without actually looking like you're trying to get it done? Some of the citizens of Seattle were calling for the defunding of the police department. They were caught up in the emotion of a horrible tragedy that has been going on since America got started. People that are supposed to be citizens are treated as less than citizens by a lot of people. The police department has a problem with overzealousness, getting caught up in the moment, overreacting, and doing things that can harm the citizens with whom they swore an oath to protect. Now, defunding the police department is not the way to go. Revamping the police department, starting from the ground up, working your way up with new ideas to make things better. What we need is the police and we need the community coming together, partnering with each other to make the neighborhood safer. You have a lot of people in Seattle that doesn't really care because they're making enough money that it does not directly affect them. So everybody else that gets stuck doing the dishes ends up figuring out how to scrape the gunk off the bottom of the pan. So having said that, they have figured out a way to make it look like they want to do what's right for the city, but in turn also step back and figure out a way to fix the police department. So it may not be a win-win for everybody in the moment, but in the long run, I think it'll be a win-win if they do it right. Thank you for stopping by. If you have any ideas that you'd like to leave in the comments about this subject, please put it in the comments below. 
If you want to give my videos a big old thumbs up, please hit that button. And also, if you want to subscribe to get newer content when it comes up, please hit the subscribe button. To all who have stopped by, thank you, and have a pleasant day.